Hi, we're here on Columbus Avenue at Da Vinci Restaurant with Chef Pepino and we're making gnocchi today. Hi, How are you? nice to see nice you. Too. And I uh, want to show today to how to make a gnocchi, nice with the with chantal mushroom sauce. It's a beautiful, fresh season. I want to show how to make a gnocchi tonight. Today, yeah. Oh, it's really hot. This morning was nice though. Yeah, it gets really hot. Yeah. Are you ready? We're going to start. One apple? Too big. One apple? No. Okay, this is a potato. I heard potatoes. You are boiling, baby pork. Then uh, you're going to smash. Leave, don't cover it. Leave open the fridge. In the dry up. When you dry the potatoes, it will less take flour. With less flour, the milk is so light, it's more chewy. So something with the restaurant, they have too chewy, milk is like a, too, too much flour. When eating the milk, they like it so much. When you're after the half an hour, oh my god, I ate too much pasta. Oh, too, too heavy milk, you know. And you make for the milk with the potatoes and the flour. But make sure it's dry, nice. Look, see how beautiful right there, you know? Then you make the gnocchi. And take less flour. You have to sleep very well. No, like, overpower. Oh my god, eat too much food. Now I have my gnocchi. Light. Okay, I want to show you. See? Two-pound potato. And uh, maximum machine. Mm -hmm. And you need one-pound food cook. Is uh, you gonna find any supermarket? It's double zero. Do you like cake flour? Yeah, cake flour is a lighter. And yeah, this is like very kind. This is your beautiful. Like, and uh, oh, and you need one pound. You need one pound. Make a big, big bun like at least like 10, 15 pound of potato. Ten. For this, like say like two, three tablespoons all the extra milk. All right. Pound of flour. Then I do a big mixture. Is it always two to one? So two to one, always. All two to one. Okay. Take a little time on small machine. And uh, don't worry, about, like too much, uh, like. No one come together, they take a little time, you see all come nice together, and not together. And, uh, so far this is pretty easy, I think we can do it. I work in an eat in generally Italian restaurant. The chef Aldo, he taught teach me all the recipe, how you mix the gnocchi, the very old lady Italian. And they're teaching me all this stuff like the stuff that I taught the chef. I mean, was, this, was this the recipe they taught you? Yes. And they're teaching me how to make the pasta, everything. Like, I do my pastry, pasta, bread. 100% uh, my Where own. in Italy was it? Yeah, in Germany. Oh, that's super Leonardo. It was in Germany? Yes, the Italian Wow. That's called Leonardo da Vinci, who I learned in my life. And so one day, after my own class, I would do the same thing. Thank God I did it. Da Vinci. Who I started my life. I'm here now. <laughs> okay. Alright, before you put anything on the table, make sure it's nice clean. Never know, you know, a little flour. Not too much. And uh, another. Okay, now you have to Maybe for gnocchi someday or just for the first I've time? I've made gnocchi before, but it wasn't at all like this. Uh, yeah. It was like I visited her and she is from Italy. Yes. But she used eggs and she made it while the potatoes were still hot. Uh, ah, yeah. And we didn't really need it. We just kind of... And, uh... Okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, when you gnocchi, it's nice, hard. Good hard, not too much. Good hard, but when you're rolling, you need to know how to cut it and smell it. Mm 
Good job. Yeah. Very good. They kind of look like orch or Nice. A little like tiny one just an over here. Eat it. All Finish right. Up. 
I think that that won't that won't be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you love to cook, Fabina. I love to cook. You can see how you love to cook. Thank you. You just ooze like you love to cook. Yes. It's my favorite work in the kitchen. It's a joy. Wasn't that delish? <laughs>